Welcome back to Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. So I've got a question for you guys. When you think about the greatest siege battles, either in history or in like movies or in lore, what are the ones that come to mind? Because I love siege battles. I do. Remember when we had the siege of Constantinople and we used this map right here and we fortified it and set it up and it was pretty cool because you guys were requesting custom battles. And there's a lot of really cool castles in Totally Accurate Battle Simulator itself. Most of the time they're just there as absolutely beautiful and stunning backdrop. And there's always someone or something watching over us. The chicken. What do they mean, Watson? But if you guys were to come up with a list, I'm sure many of you would say, you know, the siege of Constantinople, the siege of Jerusalem. There's so many ones in history. And if we were to look at lore, like Lord of the Rings is just covered with them. The siege of Minas Tirith and the siege of Helm's Deep. This is one of the most epic sieges in all of cinema uh, before Game of Thrones. I'm pretty sure the Battle of the Night or whatever like that, it was the longest at 45 minutes. Now, it wasn't always battle, but it was the build-up. It was the encirclement of the keep and the deeping wall. And they called it the deeping wall because there was this grate. Wait a minute, that's just a hole in the wall. Let me go put a grate in it. Oh, there we go. That's beautiful. That's weird. There was a giant hole in the wall and now there's not. There's a grate. And there's something once again watching us. Now, if you guys would like to see the Battle of Helm's Deep unfold in an, in an attempt at a totally accurate way with the wall blowing up, I want you to give this video a like right now. Think about it. Your likes, pulling the trigger on the like button, can create an explosion strong enough to blow a hole in this. Anyway. But there's a lot that uh, still would be fun to do on the Battle of Helm's Deep. But we're going to be showing off the Urukai siege. The Rohanian? The men of Rohan? The kingdom of Rohan? I don't know. The men of Rohan's Helm's Deep. Look at this. This is pretty cool. So this is the, the hallway they're going to have to come in. And while a lot of people may say, you know walls and parapets defensive installations you know this is the spot where the the old man with the arrow shot the first urukai and then it, it, it caused the whole thing but we put a sign up to say hey please go away urukai you're not welcome here you know maybe that'll protect us from the siege so i've got a few men on the walls just just for scenery but let's go ahead and change that we're gonna need to change the line and this is one of the first and best additions that Tabs ever put in was being able to just alter the line so that we can play the map any way we want. So, say you were to give in access to Helm's Deep once we finish it, there's there's some bugs. We're working on it. Work in progress. As with all the mods over here in Baron Long Games Land, uh, yeah, Dush. it is what it is. Yeah, we're gonna need some defenders, right? So, these guys are archers of Rohan. They've got their pretty awesome shields on their back showing the horses because they are known as the horse lords and let's just say that if you're going to be charging Helm's Deep, you're going to you're going to catch some smoke. You don't want none of that smoke, but I guess you do if you're sour mode. Now we'll put some men over here. This is where the elves and uh, Gimli and Legolas decided to defend and there was a lot of really cool siege ladders. We're not quite there yet. And we'll put we'll put a few uh, knights here, but then it's the Urukai. And you might be thinking, hey, Baron, they're just gonna charge through the gap in the wall. But remember, through the power of your likes, we put on the grate, which is the greatest weakness in all of Helm's Deep, right? See, look, the gate's there. Your likes did it. Thank you. By the way, I love that because it, it does help the video. And uh, these videos are extra special. Weeks, weeks of work went into making this Battle of Helm's Deep possible. This mod. A week ago, I showed off the Urukai and the Men of Rohan, and there's still plenty of units that I'd like to put in, and I'm sure there's plenty of units you guys would like to see. So we're doing this in slow motion because I want to see if the walls are too tall here. I want to choose you, Pikachu. Pikachu! All right, do you think... We're supposed to be shooting down at the uh, phalanx here. So Saruman's forces are going to need to break a hole in the deeping wall, right? Now, let's see. Do you have a giant bomb that's spiky? Do you have a giant bomb that's spiky? Where's the guy with the giant spiky bomb? Because he's the one who has to break the deeping gate. I don't think a mammoth will do it. We've got the war mammoth with the uh, the flag. And this dude is just straight up raving out there right now. And he's holding it behind his back like, I don't know, man. I guess he's trying to flex on these people. But this guy, the Urukai 
bomber. Now that, let's take a look at this. Oh yeah, that definitely looks like the Urukai bomb that blew up the deeping wall. Now what we would need to do though for this to work, well you know what, I'm gonna do it. I am, I am going to, to request. If you guys want to see this bomb blow up that wall, I want you to pull the trigger on the like button. A lot of work went into this mod. I, I have no shame in asking for it this time around. But this bomb will need to be put right here. But do you guys understand that for that to work in tabs where the AI has the intelligence of there's enemy, I will run in straight line. That's how battle simulators generally work. We've added some scripting. That's the only way this would work. So, if this was all worth it, did you break the game? Uh, no, Baron, I reckon, uh, I, I reckon you broke it. Well, I can't argue with that, but it looks rather, it kind of looks like lightning. That was another thing that we wanted to do was have a nice storm and lightning. I'm actually kind of curious if the men of Rohan on the wall, which in the future will get the high elves to be up here. I guess like, are they, high? they're just regular elves, right? It's just the wood elves that are not. There's no Dark Elves in the Lord of the Rings universe. I'd really love these guys to shoot. Maybe maybe we could do that by increasing their range. There's a lot of little tricks you have to do in tabs. And we'll put we'll put one horse lord who still looks like they have the small horses. Don't worry. All right. So we press start now. There we go. Wait a minute. Normally, Tabs AI would be like, "Okay, that's a wall. I can't go there. What is the shortest way to get to my enemy?" So they would They'd run all the way up here, and unfortunately we can't do those giant ballista-fired siege ladders or the other siege ladders with the little, like, the little clicking things where Gimli's like, 21, 22, and they call it a mine. So they'll run that way, right? But, oh, come on, guys. We, we yeah, that, that's one of the things we'll do. But this guy should throw the bomb, shouldn't he? Right? He'll, he'll have to throw it. That's the only way he can break the gate, is throw the bomb and have it explode. So go ahead, man. Throw the bomb. Oh my goodness, it's on top of his head. Now, this is the beautiful part. Let's go ahead and uh, just let it play out in real time. That thing's gonna explode. Bricks are gonna go everywhere. Oh my god. Now that is the Battle of Helm's Deep. Can, I, can, we, just, can we just please take a moment to appreciate what we've accomplished here? What has been done? Interactive maps. Siege equipment. The gate's still there, but shh, don't worry. It's a work in progress. <laughs> a battle of Helm's Deep. Now we just need Legolas and Gimli. And, uh, and uh, oh my god. There's, 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 what, what units do we need to add to the Lord of the Rings factions? We, um, what factions do we need to add? What battle should we do next? Maps do take a while, but they can be done. So the gate, the deeping wall has been breached. And look at that, all of the elves are there. And this is, wait, Legolas, are you? Oh, okay, Sauron, you go away, Sauron. You're not supposed to be here. See, the power of our minds can scare away the monsters on our beds. Wait a minute, this is the part where Legolas surfs down on his little shield. And like, when you're a teenager, you're like, oh my God, that's so cool. And then when you get older, you're like, come on, dude. Can't we just, can't we just have a good old, why, why, this is a preview of what's to happen in the Hobbit movies, isn't it? Wait a minute, those bricks are still moving when they get hit. They have destructibility and physics. Oh my god, one just fell on a man's head. And then it just launched, a, a little unrealistic for how fast they're supposed to be. But the men of Rohan uh, hold the line, despite the fact that many of them are just, uh, I don't know, man, they, they don't hold their bows properly, but they hold them totally accurately. So now, why did you guys fall off the wall? Are you guys getting knocked off? So I think one of the things we did was we added way too many archers for the men of Rohan. So let's go ahead and fix that. Oh my God, that was awesome. See, as, as men get hit and knocked, but Tabs has its shortcomings, but it has its strengths. And that is why we love it. Physics. Physics is why we like it. Look, a crossbow bolt hits a door and it opens. The sign waves in the breeze and in the combat. This man, I think this might actually be the Berserker because he doesn't have a weapon on him. No, that can't be the Berserker. Look at it. Where, where, sir, where's your weapons? He doesn't care. He's going to give him the old fisticuffs. He's going to give him the old ones and twos. And in the blue corner, getting knocked the freak out is this Urukai. He's just kidding. He's going to get up. And he's going to keep fighting and punch that man in the nuts. And he's going to fall off the bridge to... Did he break his neck? Oh, this is hilarious. So we have this really, really just amazing battle. So here we go. We have the men of Rohan. We have the Urukai. You know what we need? 
I know what you're thinking, and I agree. One of the things I didn't get to was, do you remember in the Battle of Helm's Deep that the uh, Urukai brought this kind of testudo to protect a battering ram? Well, I wanted to see what other factions would look like in Totally Accurate Battle Simulator, right? So, I've decided to have the Ancient Faction go up against the Dynasty. Now, the Dynasty, well, oh god, the Firework Archer shot right in front of them. But they do have a Hawacha, and they've got Chuko Nu all over the walls. But, you know, I guess they did bring some siege equipment, but they did have to recruit the Urukai Berserker with the bomb in order to break the way. So, let's just go ahead and see this. Oh god, the Hawatch is firing. Ooh, it looks like it just missed. Ooh, man, those guys got lucky. We put a few Chuko News on the front, but this is the power of Testudo, man. Here we have some Roman, Roman Legionnaires with the Roman Testudo operating, and this is just my favorite part. I mean, I'm sure it's probably everybody's favorite part right now because it's just unprecedented in Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. That wasn't the best throw, but maybe that explosive is close enough. Uh, in testing sometimes, when it wasn't close enough, it didn't blow up. <laughs> Because it makes sense, right? If, if the bomb isn't perfectly placed. What is that? That was that looked like an asteroid. And, oh yeah, there, there you go. Good, good firing. But so let's see if these guys are smart enough. That guy is smart enough. I'm so proud of you. Now, one of the things that I'd like to do is, is mess with the lighting, change the lighting. But if you guys want to see another battle on Helm's Deep, I'm sure we could do one. <laughs> because I didn't just have this map for no reason we want to we want to have fun with it don't we so the chuko new are incredibly powerful imagine if the elves had that instead of just regular bows although they're some of the best warriors in all of lord of the rings are you running away from them are you guys dancing what is this weird dance you guys are doing the firework archer was not interested in fighting and he just got knocked the freak out straight off the wall um we're having some special stuff happen now how's the siege going honestly I can't say it's going very well for the Spartans. Let's just say that their AI is... Oh, you guys don't know where to go. You guys don't know where to go. This is the thing about battle simulators. Battle simulators in terms of AI, like oftentimes... Here, if I let you... You can bring a horse to water, but you can't make them drink. That, that's kind of how this feels. Are you able to find the door now? Oh, uh, well, this ramp looks like I should really just hug it. Cause it needs, it needs a friend. I'm gonna fall now though, cause, cause, uh, maybe I need a friend. All right, so here's the deal, big boy. Go through that door. Yeah, you're learning. So pathfinding, I think what we need to do, um, is probably make, oh, did you, you, you just, you fell. You did, you fell. Oh, I guess that could, that could be part of the problem as well as units aren't supposed to be down there. Lainitis clone, go get him. You, oh, that sounded like he broke some knees. You go get him. Just, just. <laughs> this stick is blocking him. <sighs> we need an archer down here. Archers! Where are you? Got some shieldy boys. Is everybody else dead? I thought the Chuko News were still alive somewhere. They must have been taken out. Now, if these guys don't have... <gasps> we have one ranged unit, but it's a ballista. I wish I could spawn in a unit after the battle's taken place. Because I would, I would just summon an archer. But there's like, I don't know, probably a hundred things that I would love to do to this map. So if you if you want to see an updated Helm's D map, let me know. If you guys want to see, you know, what mods you'd like to see next, what units, what factions. Like, we, we started off this whole process with the clone troopers from Star Wars The Clone Wars. The prequels. Oh, the memes. Well, the ballista can't get through the gate, I don't think. What if we wiggle really hard? I think I can, I think I can. Soldier, get out of the way. Let's see how this works. Now, can I survive this? I don't think so. I wonder if that guy survived the fall. He didn't. Do you know how many men have, have fallen to their, their death down here to kill this guy? I think we'll call it a draw. In Helm's Deep can be updated. Many and more mods can come. This is probably the most ambitious mod that I've done yet. Um, so if you guys would like to see more, let me know, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Let me know if you, the mod suggestions in the comments below. Pull the trigger on the like button if you did enjoy it, and thank you guys so much for watching and supporting these fun projects. See ya!